Hello, welcome to this week's weekly weight loss vlog. Uh, I'm going to try and get this wrapped up relatively quickly. Why? Because it's my birthday. It's my first weekly weight loss vlog on my birthday. Yes, it is the 2nd of September uh, and I am 44 years young. So, uh, yeah, 2nd of September, 1980, the real lost boss came into the world. Uh, and yeah, it is my birthday. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying not to fill it up by sitting here all day recording content. Though it's not going great so far because all I've done is sit here all day recording content. But anyway, uh, there we go. Um, I am having a bit more of a chilled out week this week. But I want to get the weekly weight loss vlog out there. Uh, again, it's good for my own good for my own accountability, as it were. Uh, so it's been a nice week last week. Yeah, I've been, I've sort of uh, made my birthday last about three weeks. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, I went out a week last Saturday for my birthday. Uh, and then I've been out a little bit this weekend for my birthday. Uh, and then we're going to, well, we're not going to Edinburgh this weekend coming up for my birthday. Uh, but we are going to Edinburgh. Uh, and I'm going to celebrate a bit more of my birthday there. Why the hell not? Anyway, there we go. So yes, it is. It is uh, the boss's birthday. So uh, let's... Without any further ado, you know how I can sit here and uh, and um, chat nonsense for two week uh, two weeks. No, no, Neil, for forty minutes. Uh, yeah, I'm very good at chatting absolute nonsense. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into it. We're going to try and rattle through it a little bit as best we can. Right, first things first, checking. So. If you follow me on social media lives, i.e. TikTok lives, because those are the only social media lives I do, uh, I have said this week that, uh, yeah, I'm not going to check in for a month. I feel like I've been too scale focused um, a little bit this year because of doing these vlogs. I've been so every time I've gone away, pre holiday, post holiday, normal check ins. Uh, and I feel like I've been, yeah, a little bit, um, uh, yeah, uh, scale kind of focused as it were so i said i'm not checking in anyway i lied to myself i've lied to you i've let myself down i've let you down uh i've got on the scales this saturday i will tell you why there's always a reason so i got the scales on saturday and i'm a pound down so i've not weighed for three weeks i was meant to weigh last week totally forgot I thought do you know what i'm gonna jump on the scales i was having a bit of a skinny day i thought do you know what? i'm just gonna have a, i'll have a nip on see where the see where we're at but i am not weighing now until my next weighing is gonna be i think I'm going to go three weeks, no, two weeks on Friday. What's the date? It's Friday the 6th, 13th, 20th. Yes. So the Real Lost Boss Challenge, uh, the third Real Lost Boss Challenge is starting on the 16th of September. It's two start dates, 16th of September, 23rd of September. I'm going to do the challenge with my clients. So if you want to join the challenge, you can do. I'll put the inquiry form, a little link to an inquiry form in the description of this video. Send it an inquiry form. I can send you the details. Um, there's still time to sign up. You have to be on my one-to-one -one plan to take part in the challenge. But uh, this is the third one. Uh, challenge one was last September. Um, challenge two was in April. And this is challenge three. And you know what? Basically, it's just my plan, my normal one-to-one -one plan, but you get a little bit more specific targets to aim for and hit. Hitting those targets, you get points, and whoever gets the most points at the end of the challenge gets 500 quid. So um, it's not about weight loss. It is, but it isn't. Uh, the challenge is about doing what we should be doing, and weight loss will just be the byproduct of that. Uh, challenge one, my client that won it lost £19. Challenge two, my client that won it lost £17. So you will lose a considerable amount of weight doing the challenge, but that is not the sole focus. There is no points for the amount of weight you lose. It's how well you hit your targets, basically. But anyway, I'm doing it with my clients, uh, and I'm going to start on the second start date, the 23rd. So I'm going to weigh on the 20th or the 21st, I'm not really too fussed which one, that's going to be my pre-challenge weight, and then I'll be checking in every two weeks after that um, to see where we're at. So I do go away on the 5th of October, but I will not be doing a, uh, I will be doing a kind of pre-holiday weigh-in, because that will be the 4th of October, which will be my first weigh-in of the challenge, just before I go away on the 5th. And then, but when I get back, I will not be doing a post-holiday weigh-in. I'm not going to document it. My next weighing will be oh why am i doing this about 18th i think of october uh which will just be my second challenge weighing right and we'll see where we're at so i will document i'll document me doing the challenge 
on these weekly weight loss vlogs. Uh, anyway, there we go. So uh, I've weighed in and I'm a pound off. So um, since I came back from Benidorm at the uh, end of June, uh, I am, I'm looking at my thing now, I am uh, 11 pounds down, which considering I've been celebrating a little bit, birthdays and stuff like that, I'm all right with that. Uh, and from the beginning of the year, I am 19 pounds, well, 18.8, you can see, I'm 18.8 pounds down anyway that's it that's it that's that's enough uh, of talking about check-ins i'm not going to talk about them anymore uh we're going to get straight into eating so this week i was setting out to have a uh, deficit week but with the mindset where's my keyboard i've been recording you'll see this coming uh, coming up soon on youtube uh, i'm doing pizzas I'm, I'm doing a little youtube video if you've seen my new youtube series worth the calories thumbs up and thumbs down anyway episode three will be out this week at some point and it's pizzas uh anyway uh so i've, I've been reviewing pizzas in here um where are we at now what am i looking for my news check that's it got my keyboard got my news check uh, i'm full of pizza i'm not actually i've eaten one i've reviewed four pizzas i've eaten a quarter of each pizza so i i have had quite a bit of pizza but um i've had a bit more maybe i've had one and maybe i'd say i'd have one and a half uh, i've not fully counted i'm going to count it as one and a half anyway just over a thousand calories uh what am i looking at right last week's cows right let's get them up so i was setting out that's it um <laughs> Stop talking about pizza, Neil. Talk about calories. That's why I'm on uh, I was setting off to have uh, a calorie deficit week, but with the full awareness that it was going to be a reduced calorie deficit week. So I normally try and stick to um, 19,250 calories, and that puts me in a 4,000 calorie deficit. I was kind of expecting this week to be maybe a 2,000 calorie deficit, half. Anyway, I ended up on Wednesday flipping into a maintenance week. Why? Code red hangover last Sunday. That code red hangover lasted till nearly Thursday. Yes, I am 44 and I need to learn that I shouldn't drink like an idiot. Anyway, there we go. Uh, so I was struggling. I struggled to control my food on Monday. Um, don't get me wrong, I was under my calories. You can see there, uh, I had uh, 2,573. But now you'll see that I've got a lot more calories. I've changed my calories last week to my maintenance calories, which I class as 3,250. My maintenance calories is actually about 3,400 a day on average, but I just put it in as 3,250, 500 more than I normally stick to. Um, so it looks like I banked a lot of calories, and I did, but that was towards my maintenance. Whereas normally, 2,573 at a bank is like 167, 177 calories. Uh, oh, yeah. Simple maths, about bank 677 seven there. So I flipped to maintenance calories. Now, I didn't do that until Wednesday, to be honest with you, because I struggled a bit on Monday. Uh, Rachel, the other half, she came home on... Uh, two, well, I picked Rachel up at 2 a.m. Uh, at Liverpool Airport Tuesday morning, but by the time we had to drop a couple of people off, got home, sorted the dogs out, got in bed, turned the light out, it was nearly 5 a.m., um, so, well, about half four it was, something like that. So, and so I was knackered on Tuesday, which always makes it harder to control calories. I knew Rachel was on a bit of a holiday come down, which again, always makes it harder to control calories. So we just rolled with it. Um, no Oasis pun there. Uh, we just, yeah, we just, we just went with it. No, we did. We rolled with it on Tuesday. Uh, and after that, so I had four. I stayed accountable, tracked everything that went in, four thousand two hundred fifteen calories. Um, but on Wednesday, I was just like, I hate chasing my tail. I knew I was going to be a bit more calorific this weekend because it's my birthday. So I just flipped to maintenance calories. And if I was just maintaining my weight, those are the calories I have got to play with week in, week out. Um, so yeah, there you go. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, 2,500 on Monday, 4,200 on Tuesday, 2,400 Wednesday, 2,000 Thursday, and 2,000 and Friday was fine, you know, back, back in the swing of things. But then I've had a more calorific weekend because I've been out and about, done a few bits and, you know, just sell, enjoying my birthday weekend a little bit, having a mooch bar, having a couple of beers, uh, having some nice food. So I finished the week on 21,929 calories. I'm still in a deficit, but a small one. 800... Uh, <laughs> 
it, unless it's a thousand calories or more, I don't really class it as a deficit. I certainly class it as a maintain. So yeah, technically I'm in an 821 calorie deficit this week. How much fat loss? It wouldn't even be, that wouldn't even, doesn't even quite equate to a quarter of a pound of fat loss. Uh, so really I've had a maintenance week and I'm doing the same this week because we're going away. So I'm just having a couple of weeks of, of, of kind of foodie freedom as it were right let's go through the old eating let's uh let's have a look oh i've not even talked about dates so we are doing monday the 26th of uh, monday the 26th of august and we are running through to um first of september first of september yes Okay, last Monday. This was Code Red Hangover, day two. It wasn't a Code Red Hangover at this stage. It was, um, if we're going on like the Richter scale in terms of earthquakes, like it was an it was an 8.9 on Sunday. Uh, I was probably hovering, we got some after tremors on the Tuesday, uh, hovering around uh, a six, down to a four by Tuesday. But anyway, Monday was a six. So I made myself, oh, do you know I had some, I had uh, English muffin. I had one English muffin with some eggs on and a little bit of salty butter. So what I was trying to do on Monday was, I was trying to eat food that I really enjoy. Not really worried about health at all. But if I eat food that I really enjoy, it tends to keep me in control of my eating more, you know. Um, so anyway, health went out the window-ish on Monday. Well, did it? I'm looking at it now. Yeah, there wasn't that much nutrition going in as it were anyway uh english muffin couple of eggs bit of butter uh dinner fish finger butty i've been going on about one for ages i mentioned it in last week's weekly weight loss vlog uh, and i ended up going to mcdonald's having a fillet of fish just didn't quite tip the box so i had a really nice fish finger sandwich that was my lunch uh afternoon snacks i was craving salt i just wanted salt on on monday uh, so I had some crisps, I had some cheese and biscuits, um, and I ended up having two fish fingers. So I cooked 10 fish fingers. Six went on my sandwich. I asked this on Instagram, what's an acceptable number of fish fingers? So I had six on my sandwich, so I had four left over. Uh, gave one to each dog. There were two left over. I was like, oh, the dog's going to have them later on. I ended up eating them mid-afternoon. Uh, so I had fish fingers with some salt on, some cheese, some biscuits, and crisps. Only 430 calories afternoon snacks. Uh, I made a pizza on Monday night. Uh, I get loads of anchovies on it. Craving salt again. So I did the pescatory pizza last Friday. Had the same thing on Monday. Uh, and then in bed at night time, uh, I had a bag of crisps and a uh, my protein hazelnut whip. Uh, that was before, uh, yeah, anyway, I didn't go, that was kind of, yeah, nighttime snacks, I sort of had a, a little doze on the couch, then I got up, went to pick Rachel up, now when we got home from the airport, Rachel was a bit peckish, and I was like, I'm a bit peckish as well, so I ended up having some toast, now I actually put this in as breakfast, so I put, so I had, when I got back from the airport, I, I put it in as my breakfast, because I had toast, I had an English muffin, uh, again, uh, we shared we shared some toast. I don't think I took pictures of it. I can't remember. Anyway, I put that in as my breakfast on Tuesday. We woke up about 10 o'clock. So I went to sleep probably about half or five. Woke up at about 10. We got up. I had a few bits of work to do and stuff like that. I didn't do any lives or anything on, on Tuesday. Uh, I kind of had a day off, but I was doing little bits of admin. Uh, I said to Rachel, what do you want for dinner? So we went for a Mackey's. So I had one on Sunday night and I had one on Tuesday dinner time. Uh, and I had a double cheeseburger, I had a, a, a wrap of the day, I had some fries and a couple of chicken nuggets as well. 1,300 calories worth of McDonald's. Uh, afternoon snacks. This is a 4,200 calorie day. That did include the 300 calories worth of toast that I had before going to bed. But, you know, still, it was all calories and it was all on that day. Uh, 1,300 calories worth of McDonald's. Afternoon snack. Rachel wanted a jam donut from Tesco, so I had one of those. Uh, she, oh, I had one. Did I have one and a half? Why is it in it? No, 225 calories for a jam donut from Tesco. Uh, I then got a Cornetto uh, and a bag of crisps. That was afternoon snacks, 573 calories. Again, zero health going in here. Uh, Tuesday night uh, tea, we just had a great big bacon baguette. It was absolutely lovely. And then evening snacks, this is where I went a bit wild. So evening snacks, after our bacon baguette, I ended up doing like a cookie and ice cream Sunday thing, which was about seven, similar to the one I did last Sunday. Um, and then we also had some chocolate. We had some crisps. We just had a right blowout. We just had a right blowout. Anyway, 
is what it is. I've tracked it. I've stayed as accountable as I could. Uh, and it come in as 4,200 calories. Wednesday, this is when I flipped it to uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but I thought, no, let's not chase your tail. Let's go maintenance calories, and you're going to still, you know, at least, you know, calorie maintenance. You're not going to lose anybody fat. You're not going to gain anybody fat. Uh, I have no idea, again, what pictures I've taken this week, but if I've took pictures of what I'm talking about, I'll stick it up. Anyway, uh, I had surreal cereal for my breakfast on Wednesday, and I added some fruit to it. I had blueberries and strawberries to eat, so that got whacked in there. Uh, dinner, um, I had a tune, like a tune, I, I was trying to do a tune in his swars. I don't think, is that the right word? I'm trying to be bosh. Anyway, uh, we bought from Tesco the day before a Caesar salad kit. So I basically had that, put a tin of tuna on it, a bit of egg, um, and, um, these, um, sweet corn and jalapeno fritters from Aldi. They're really, really good. So I had a couple of them on there as well. Uh, that salad though was, it's 485 calories. 485 calories that salad really really nice as well uh, afternoon snacks uh i had a uh a muller light yogurt and then we went and tried the new grimace shake which i have reviewed in a couple of different formats from mcdonald's i had two thirds of that shake uh, rachel had a third i had two thirds um for a couple of hundred calories and then tea uh, i had pasta bake so i did pasta bake bit of cheese on top uh, a, a, a Carlos takeaway mini garlic pizza bread, some chicken tenders, and some tender stem broccoli. It's one of my favourite teas. I absolutely love it. Thousand calories for that badger, uh, and then we had um, oh, and then I had an ice cream wafer after that. That was it. So Wednesday was all right. At two thousand uh, how many calories? Two thousand four hundred calories. Wednesday was all right. The hangover was disappeared by Thursday. Life's good. We're, we're loving life. Uh, breakfast on... Rachel brought back a couple of Spanish protein bars that I'd never seen before. So I had one of those for my breakfast on uh, Thursday. 180 calories, 12 grams of protein. Very, very nice. Uh, lunch on Thursday was... I just had a great big ham sandwich and a, a, a chicken fillet thing that was left over from the weekend on the side. So yeah, I just had this great big whacking wholemeal bread, lots of salad, lots of... I just fancied a ham butty. Uh, Mid-afternoon snack, I finished off a bit of pasta from the night before. Yeah, this isn't like the healthy... When I say it's in there, it's not the most nutritious of weeks. I feel like there's not loads of fruit and veg going in here. There's not, but there's a bit, but there's not loads. Uh, tea, uh, roast dinner. Had a nice roast dinner. That was a lot of veg, and that was absolutely banging. 760 calories. Roast dinners are just a cheat code on a weight loss journey. You get all that food for 700 calories because of how much veg and stuff you have. And then evening snacks, I had a little bag of uh, scampi fry things. I've, I've, I've shown what they are in uh, Worth the Calories, episode two. Go check it out. Uh, uh, and a grenade Oreo bar. So just 2,000 calories on uh, on um, Thursday. Low calorie day. Again, I don't feel I've fueled my body with tons and tons of nutrition, but it's not but it's not bad. I had 22, looking at it, I had 20, I had 150 grams of protein, over 22 grams of fiber, uh, and only 17 grams of saturated fat. So in all honesty, that ain't bad at all. Uh, Friday, protein pancakes. Oosh! Down to one protein pancakes a week at the moment. Uh, but uh, really enjoying them when I have them on a Friday. Um, we got a meal deal from Asda um, and got this ham hock and cheddar with pear and apple chutney sandwich. Um, I ended up having like two thirds of it because Rachel, we sort of, we get two sandwiches, normally do half and half. And we normally go for one that's a bit more calorie free than one that's a bit more calorie controlled. So I had half uh, a chicken and sweet corn sandwich, half of that ham hock, but Rachel left a bit of it, so I finished it off. And a few crisps. Uh, Friday night tea. Oh, I did 5% fat smash burgers. Unreal. 732 calories for a double smash burger and a load of chips. Um, really, really good. 51 grams of protein, 5 grams of fibre, and just 9 grams of saturated fat, which for a you know double smash burger and a big portion of chips is decent. Uh, some crisps and a protein bar in bed. And then my birthday weekend-ish. You know, I'm, I'm, you know the Queen has two, two birthdays. The Real Lost Boss has 75. Uh, he just ekes it out. Anyway, um, we went out for lunch. We went to a place called Light Ash uh, Farm. Uh, shop cafe uh, it's in a place called Myersco which is near Garstang sort of in between Garstang Preston Polton Kirkham it's kind of in the middle of nowhere really but if you're in this area the food there is sensational the value for money you get massive portions the food is really really good I love it 
Um, it's one of my face. So I went there. I got a, a luxury strawberry milkshake, which I just tracked as a large uh, strawberry milkshake from McDonald's. And I had, um, uh, well, I actually ordered a sweet chili chicken wrap and chips. Uh, but Rachel got a baguette and she was like, I don't fancy that now. So we ended up swapping. But I didn't mind. She got a bacon, like a BLT. Uh, so I had a BLT and chips and a bit of coleslaw. We got a bit of cake as well. They have a cake away sort of section that they make themselves. Delicious. So I took that home. And that's what my afternoon snacks were uh, on um, Saturday. I put it in as 650. So, I, so my lunch was uh, I tracked as 1,500 calories and then I had 600 calories worth of um, snacks. Now, for my tea... Uh, Rachel took my sweet chilli chicken wrap, but she only ate half of it. So I ate the other half. We took it home and I ate the other half for my tea. So tea was only 700 calories on Saturday. But Saturday we did take the dogs for a nice walk and we did have a couple of beers around our village. Only three pints, uh, but uh, 856 calories. Uh, and I also had a pint of inchy cider while we were out shopping after we went out for lunch as well. Uh, evening snacks, didn't really have any. I was all right. I, I, I wasn't bothered at all. So anyway, uh, 3,947 calories, but that included knocking on 1,000 calories worth of alcohol on Saturday. And then Sunday, yesterday, um, I had a bowl of cereal, my sugary cereal. I got the small cereal. I think it's new. I'm not sure if it's new or not, but I've not seen it before, I don't think, in Aldi. So I've grabbed that. I love a sugary cereal. Uh, so I had that for my breakfast, 480 calories. Um, we went out for lunch. I just used the, I, and I just had, I had a roast lamb dinner, and I just used the generic um, um, thing in in uh, uh, NutriCheck to track it, like thirteen hundred and odd calories. Um, afternoon snacks. Um, I was watching the footy, so I had three pints with my um, three pints with my lunch uh, for uh, six hundred and thirty calories. Um, three pints of Budvar. I had a couple of cans mid-afternoon. Um, for tea, I did a homemade pizza um, in the pizza oven. I had uh, a few pork scratchings mid-afternoon with a couple of cans watching the football. So my pizza was 930 calories. I tracked my roast dinner was 1,300 calories. My breakfast was 500 calories. Um, and that's about it. Really, I ended up having... Uh, and then I had a little bit of dessert, a little bit of Viennetta after my tea. Uh, after we pizza, so I ended up having 4,400 calories on Sunday. Uh, so looking back at last week, um, stayed in control of calories just, stayed within my maintenance, so no body fat gained. In fact, a little smidge of body fat lost. Looking back, health was pretty short. I'm like, yeah, there, was, there, was, there wasn't much uh, sort of whole foods and all that whole you know going in the body last week but it is what it is there won't be loads this week either if i'm if i'm going to be totally honest with you i am having a couple of weeks of foodie freedom but two weeks of not being overly conscious on health you know just concentrating on calories a little bit i'm all right with that i'm all right with that it it is what it is um and it's been it, you know i i enjoyed last week i enjoy having a little bit more food freedom you know if i ate like that week in week out um i wouldn't gain any weight i wouldn't lose any weight but i wouldn't gain any body fat right now don't go wrong would i drink alcohol i felt like i i don't actually know i'm not going to put these up uh me wheat view stuff but again you know saturated fat 210, 200, 200, about 210 grams of saturated fat over a week for most people is is a healthy allowance. I had 270 last week, so 30 a day on average, and I've had just under 40 a day on average. Again, I don't feel that is ridiculous. Sugar, um, about 90 grams of total sugars a day. Now, I feel I had a lot more total, uh, free sugars last week than fructose and lactose i feel like that it might not have been i don't really track individual sugar you know what type of sugar it is i'm not really too worried but in total i've had 610 grams of sugar last week which again you know the recommended you know sort of l l limit is about 90 grams a day so you times 90 by 7 you're at 630 so i'm actually under 20 though i do feel but out of your 630 grams of total sugars we should only be aiming to have about two, 250 of free sugars, which is sugar added to something. You know, like take caster sugar, you know, sugar that's in a cake, sugar that's in... I feel like I've had quite a bit more than that. I just, I don't know. I don't really look at individuals. But again, for the odd time, it's fine. Uh, Fibre, 
30 grams a day, about 210 grams over a week is kind of what we're roughly aiming for. And I had 170 last week. So again, not disastrous, not disastrous, but not quite where I want to be. So, you know, I think because I've done more of a maintenance week than a calorie, like hitting my ideal, I think I'm maybe being a little bit harder on myself, but I'm definitely looking back there. I know I've not put the nutrition into my body that I would do normally, but calories are king when it comes to fat loss, weight loss, what our calories are made up of a king for our overall health. But having the odd week where you don't feel like you've been the healthiest, you know, isn't going to make a jot of difference overall. Uh, right, that's it. I feel like, I, well, it's not it. I need to do like movement exercise steps. I feel like I've gone through that quite quick. Would you rather me rattle through it quite quick each week? Or, or do, do you mind when I sort of go off into flipping loads of tangents and do whatever else? Right, anyway. Uh, steps, that's not steps deal, that is a vintage label, <laughs> where are my steps, they're here, right, uh, steps last week, again, uh, I, I'm not going to beat myself up about it, I've done over 10,000, which is always my target, I feel like they could have been a bit more, you know, I like to be more towards that 11,000, but Tuesday, when we had that food freedom day, I was really tired, we were late to bed, we didn't get loads of sleep, and the weather, you know, am I making excuses, maybe, but that's kind of what's dragged it down. I always have at least one day a week where I'm under 10,000 steps, you know, around six, 7,000 steps, which is normally a Sunday, which just so happens that I think yesterday I was at 8,000 steps. But that Tuesday, normally on a Tuesday, I'm at 10, 11,000, uh, and I was at about eight, eight and a half. Maybe, yeah, probably about eight and a half, maybe squeezing nine on Tuesday. But I feel, you know, I'm literally two or 3,000 steps off averaging 11,000 there. So I think that Tuesday, just that Tuesday, but it's just circumstance. It just is what it is. Right, exercise. Each week we say, let's look at movement. I mean exercise. We've got total movement. Right, exercise last week. Didn't do the gym Monday. That uh, the, the aftershock of the uh, cold red hangover. So let's say it was an 8.9 on the Richter scale on Sunday. Uh, it was It was low sixes on Monday. No gym for me. Tuesday, way too tired to go anywhere near a gym. And again, sometimes it's all right. So I went Wednesday, Thursday, Friday um, uh, and and hit the weights there. Trained all right, actually, I felt Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, alongside doing my weights Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I also jumped on the cross trainer. Um, and then I did my spin class on Saturday. And my spin class on Saturday, I absolutely smashed it. Uh, I upped the level on my bike. I put a bit more effort in. Um, and uh, it was my highest calorie burn um, since I've come back spinning at 649 calories. So when you do spin at Ribby Hall, you connect your bike to, to, uh, to an iPad that connects it to a piece of software and you get a dial. We work through colors on a dial on the board. Uh, it's really good. Um, and how you set your bike power depends on how hard you work out. So because um, I'm... I've documented that each week my calories have dropped. This week, I wasn't going to. I was going to wait until September, but I thought, no, because I'm off this week, so I'm going to Edinburgh. So I've not got a spin class this week. So I thought, no, no, Neil, you're going to up it for this week. right? And I did. I just upped the power on the bike by 15. Uh, and there you go, 649 calories. In all honesty, my heart rate isn't massively different than what it normally is. Uh, averaged 147 beats per minute. The workout was a little bit longer this week at 40 minutes workout time that I had my app on. Uh, averaged 147 beats per minute. Um, but a nice steady t uh, line of, of working hard um, on the on the bike. Um, uh, heart rate peaked at 172. Last week it peaked at 178. But just more consistent raised heart rate which is why the calorie burn uh was a little bit more there we go that's it for another week yep i have uh i rattled through that i think um yeah so this week um yeah stuck to maintenance last week this week we are yeah we're off to edinburgh if you've got any tips for edinburgh please let me know get them in the comments i've got loads of tips but rachel's at a book conference so i'm kind of a, a bit of a loose end thursday friday saturday to be honest with you i'll be seeing obviously rachel in between her going into this conference and stuff but uh, i'm gonna have a, a good bit of free time to myself so i've got a few things planned i've got myself on a whiskey tour i'm gonna go try some uh, local delicacies definitely want a bit of haggis and i want uh, uh, about a mouse bar. um that's about it really uh maybe a few drams of the uh, of the good stuff as well um so, yeah, if you've got any recommendations for anyone, let me know. So this week, I'm not tracking. I'm tracking today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. I'm going to try and stay as accountable as I can. 
not tracking Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then from Monday, I'm on it for the rest of the year. We're getting in. Yes, I've got a few days away in Spain in October, but it's not all inclusive. We're only going for five nights. Uh, last year, we did the, pretty much the same holiday at the same time. And I think I gained two and a half pounds. Nothing. Great. I'm about 18 pounds down since last Christmas. I would like to finish the year. So my last weigh-in before Christmas will be... Uh, I think Christmas is on a Wednesday. I know I'm sorry for talking the C word. I'm so sorry. But uh, I think Christmas Day is on a Wednesday this year. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, 23rd. 20 so my last weigh-in is going to be like the 20th, 21st of December. Of uh, So by then, I'd like to be two stone now. I would love... If I could be two stone down with how busy a year I've had uh, for 2024, 20, 28 pounds, I would be absolutely buzzing. So that is kind of my... That's my going to be my focus. So about another... £10 from where I'm at now. I'm going to have a bit of food freedom this week. So I might gain a pound or two back. I have no idea. I'm not tracking, so I don't know quite where I'm going to be. I can't see that I'm going to be in that much of a surplus if I do go into a surplus this week. But I can't guarantee I'm not going to be. Um, so, yeah, that'll be £10, £12. And in about 14, 15 weeks. So it's perfectly achievable. Perfectly achievable. So that's where I want to be. Anyway, right. I know I've rattled through that. You might prefer it. Again, let me know. I won't be offended if you're like, yeah, Neil, rattle through these weekly weight loss logs. Get them in, done in under 30 minutes. That'd be great for us. Um, or around 30 minutes. That'd be superb. Anyway, right, I'm off. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my birthday. Um, look out for the next episode of Worth uh, the Calories. It's all about pizzas this week. And as always, thanks for your support. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that bit. I should say that at the beginning, but because you've probably already zoned out. But anyway, um, until next time, make sure you boss your weight loss.